Japan. Hey guys, Travis here on day two, week six of the summer split of the LCS, joined by Dyrus of TSM. I don't have a microphone today, Dyrus, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna just do this. No, I'm just kidding. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, you have a haircut. Let's just address that at the start of this interview. What's the story behind the haircut? After our loss yesterday, I fell into a deep depression by myself. I didn't really do anything drastic, but I just needed to change something. So I went and got a haircut. I changed little things like their, my hair being too long and being in my eyes. Mm -hmm. So now it's not in my eyes right now. So that's, that's a nice feeling. Yeah, so I saw on the broadcast stream that you had said that you were really sad after yesterday's loss. In fact, the saddest you've been since you said uh, you lost World Championship. So why was it that yesterday's loss hit you so hard? Um, because I made a mistake I made a long time ago. And even when I started the game, going back and buying the pure basics, and I counterpicked myself for the sake of the team comp, and it worked in the worst way possible. I also baited odd one into dying or I didn't bait him to die I put him in a bad position and I anti snowballed middle from dying there and then top lane wasn't able to do whatever and it was just a very very bad day it was one of our worst games we actually usually beat C9 a fair amount in our scrims so it's a matter of us being in a good mood and playing our best and if we lose from there then we did, gave it our all. So you're just saying it was the uh, the game itself had just too many mistakes on your part. That's what sort of beat you up. Um, it was one big mistake that snowballed the entire game. Usually when you die once, it isn't too much of a big deal. But dying right there in that matchup, my one job was the farm, and I didn't prioritize that from the start. And that was my lack of experience of playing York, and lack of experience of the matchup. Mm. So obviously today you guys won, so much better move today? Yeah, um, right after that match, actually we had a talk. We had lots of talks and my mood was much, much better. Um, particularly after hearing Velocity beat CLG, I think that's when our mood turned for the best. <laughs> okay, uh, so no, why is that? No, I wanna go to details on why that is. I mean, no offense to CLG, because they did 3-0 us mm -hmm. currently and we 3-0'd Velocity, and Velocity is 2-0 against them, and that's two of Velocity's wins are from CLG. Mm. So when I see that, I can't help to be happy. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily hate CLG, I just dislike the way they present themselves to the public, but that's their image. Well, so they did recently call you guys free SM. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just like that. There's some healthy tr trash talk, but I just, personally I dislike it, but I should have shouldered on, get on with it. Um, they're actually all very nice individually, but it's just the way they present themselves to the public. Okay, okay. But I do like them as people. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I just, for some reason, I just felt happy because I hate losing. We lost them so much, and the team that we beat are beating them, but we all know that's not how logic works. But yeah. I try to make myself feel better so I don't, like, go overboard. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't affect you in game, you're saying? Um, no, but what has affected me in game is I've been sick for the last three weeks and that's put me in, well not three weeks, ever since the Jace week I've been put into a slump. Mm. So are you just have like a cold or something that won't go away or what's the deal? Um, right after I got MVP for that week, I got a sore throat, a stuffy nose, I've coughed a lot, I had a fever, I felt dizzy every day, I felt sleepy every day. I felt terrible as we were practicing for these weeks and I wasn't able to concentrate and communicate and that contributed a big part to why we're playing so bad because I would go on tilt and my morale would be down in dumps mm -hmm. and I'm still sick now so yeah. So I'll just, I'll just scoot away a bit. As long as I'm not coughing or anything I think you're fine. Okay, thank god. Uh, so did you go to the doctor or anything like that? Um, no, I don't. Ha I actually don't really have time to go to the doctor because every couple of days we come to the LCS. It may seem like a week, but there's the two to three days in LCS, and then there's the off time, which is like maybe two to three, four days, sometimes even like two days. Right. And when we go back, we don't go straight back into practice always. We have a solo queue day, or it's at a night time, but... Yeah, because you guys days. have travel days too, right? Yeah. So that brings up another thing that I want to talk about. Um, when 
teams have their houses here, they can stream to the point where they have their game, right. and they'll be perfectly warmed up. Now, that doesn't apply to C9 because they're obviously a bunch of beasts, and they're doing very well. But I feel like that's a very, very big advantage for all the teams that are already living here. Yeah, very, very interesting point. Uh, in today's game, why do you guys think that you won and, and why did you do so well? We won um, because Nintendo made lots and lots of mistakes. Um, not saying it's a bash on him, I'm just saying what I saw. When I went bottom, he came into lane, usually don't have Jarvan with half HP, he usually is full or 75% and then you can dive. He came into lane with 50% for whatever reason and he just came through lane, he didn't come behind lane and he was very very low. Um, I could have potentially killed him if I went all in for the kill but I thought it was better just hold up the tower and wait for odd one. Um, they also still are red. Actually that's why they're so low because they still are red. Um, I don't think it was the right thing to do. I think he should have healed and he should have just went back top and tried to beat our Thresh Vane lane, which mm -hmm. is actually pretty hard because Thresh is very good against Shen and Vane, or not Vane, uh, Jarvan. Right. And he has that flay and the hook to cancel it out. So there wasn't much for him to do other than not pick Jarvan. He made the same mistake that uh, Saint made and like, if he doesn't make those mistakes, he's a very good jungler. Yeah. And Meteos acknowledges it too, so you know, I'll, I'll go with what Meteos says. So there was a video yesterday about how Vulcan sort of is doing so well but doesn't really have that big of a fan base. Um, it kind of also made me think of Team Coast who is, you know, obviously not in second place, but they're, they seem to be doing okay and yet no one really knows. They're, 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 I think people tend to forget about them a lot right now. Uh, what do you think of Team Coast at the moment? Um, they used to be GGU and they had a couple other players. Um, just like with Vulcan, they've been around for a very long time. Mm -hmm. But they always had the roster swaps. And teams that don't win are, don't get as popular. Unless you're like a popular streamer like Voidboy or you're a popular YouTuber. Right. Streams a lot, you know, like Fan Lord. Um, what Vulcan and Coast are missing for their popularity is that they have not won anything. They did get second place for the first split, but it doesn't mean anything mm. because they came from last place to first place and or second place, top two, and that's very impressive. But they had an unstable roster. Um, Vulcan had some changes too. Um, they're both teams with high potential, but they're learning slower than other teams. And I can't really say that about Vulcan because we're below them also. Right now Vulcan's very strong, mm -hmm. other than the throw against C9, that was pretty bad. But um, for the most part, popularity come, not only comes from just being in the LCS, but how much exposure you get from winning mm -hmm. and what have you done for the community. And Riot's helping all the pros with that, where we're trying to expand our popularity and they won't get as big as a following as we will because or CLG because we've been here longer. Right. For example, you can see C9's following go up because they're first place and they're dominating all these popular teams and everyone's like, who are these guys? And you're starting to see TSM fans, CLG fans convert to C9 fans because they're also the winners and there's also all kinds of fans. Right. Look at all right. So you know, it probably wraps up everything I have. Uh, very good answers, of course, as always, Tyrus. You're very good at that. Do you want to say any shout outs, plugs here at the end of the interview, though? I'd like to give a shout out to all of our sponsors on the Qualcomm Snapdragon Processor, Origin PC, Asus, Astro, Gunner, Corsair, Kingston HyperX, and that's about it. Yep. Is that seven? That is seven, yes. <laughs> all right. You have all of them, Darius, fantastic sponsors, I'm sure. Uh, for everyone, this is Travis at the end of uh, this interview, which is at the beginning of day two of week six of the uh, summer split in the LCS. You can check out the rest of our coverage at gamespot.com slash LCS.